Hi everyone, today I will be telling you my hair care routine and how I have grown my hair to this length. Um, there, that is how long my hair is and um, it's taken about two years to get it from like here down to here um, and my hair is very soft and healthy and like it's always <laughs> really really soft I'm just going to tell you what products I use um, and how I have grown it and just some hair care tips really so I wash my hair about two or three times a week and I'll usually do this on a, a Sunday, a Tuesday and a Thursday so when I am at my uni house um, I use the Lee Stafford Moroccan Oil Argan Oil Nourishing Hair Shampoo and Conditioner um, and I don't have that here with me so I'm going to put a picture of them both here and they are both £10.29 each so it's quite expensive um, you can get them from Boots or Boots Online and they are really good, they smell really nice and they are really good for your hair um, but the bad thing is they are expensive but if you're willing to spend that much money on a shampoo and conditioner then I recommend them and then I also use, I switch between these, one week I'll use the Lee Stafford and the next week I'll use this one um, it's the main and tail something <laughs> well the main Intel hall shampoo basically I'll put the proper name here and if you live in the UK you can buy these from Amazon I don't know if you can get them in other countries from stores but I got mine from Amazon and um, horse shampoo is really good for your hair because horses have really thick hair and glossy manes and things so that is really good and I love the shampoo it lathers up really nicely and it smells nice but the um, the conditioner is good but I don't really like the smell so if you use them I would recommend to definitely use a hair mask as well but I'll talk about hair masks in a minute and then when I'm here um, in this house I use Herbal Essences and I use the Herbal Essences Beautiful Ends Shampoo and Conditioner and this is a split end protection with red raspberry and silk extracts and they just look like this. Um, I've got the small one and the big one here and these have worked absolute wonders for me. Um, they smell absolutely incredible and it's just uh, like an amazing sh shampoo and conditioner and they're really affordable as well and they have helped a lot with my split ends and they make my hair feel so smooth and soft and um, like it smells really nice too like whenever I use it people compliment my hair like if they feel it like everyone thinks that my hair is really soft sorry I keep touching my hair but yeah this is a miracle product um so i definitely recommend this um and also by herbal essences there's a hello hydration one for moisture and shine and it, this is the orchid and coconut extracts for dry and damaged hair and this is like just the blue ones and i really like this as well this smells really nice um it's like a tropical scent yeah like coconut and stuff <laughs> um but I do prefer the um, split ends one, but this one is also really good. So these two are definitely my favourite out of the whole herbal essences. And then I like the orange one. I can't remember what that's called, but these two are definitely my favourite. So that's the shampoo and conditioners that I use. And um, I tend to leave my conditioner in for a few minutes just so it... Like can really work on my hair and make it smooth and everything and I always use a hair mask as well because I feel like they make my hair super soft and just really healthy and they help get out all my tangles and everything 
and I have a few favourites that I'm going to show you and this one especially is really good for growing hair and this is the Lee Stafford treatment for hair that never grows past a certain length um, and again this is very expensive I'm not sure how much I'll put it here um, um, that's just what it looks like it's just like a pink thing to be honest it doesn't smell very nice but the packaging is cute um, and I really do like this this I feel like this has really worked and has been one of the main factors that has helped in my hair growth um, this recommends that you use it once a week so I will like use this like every other week and then use my other ones during the week um, but this makes my hair really soft it gets rid of all the tangles and it definitely does help with hair growth and then I have a Herbal Essences hair mask and this is the Hello Hydration Intensive Mask um, there you go and this smells incredible and this just looks like a blue and with hair masks I typically keep these on for 5 minutes or more if I'm having a bath I'll leave them on for about 20 minutes because I can just sit and do whatever um, but if I'm having a shower then it will be about 5 minutes and there are two more hair masks which I love um, one is the Split Ends Protection Hair Mask which is by this range I don't have it here with me so I'm going to put a picture and then also the John Frieda Frizz Ease um, I can't remember what it's called I think it's the Intense Miraculous Recovery Hair Mask and it smells so good and the Herbal Essences one smells so good as well um, but yeah these are my favourite ones so definitely check them out um, and then also about my hair I, I have never dyed it the only part I have ever dyed is this one strip here as you can see it's a bit discoloured I bleached it and then I dyed it pink and purple um, but I dyed over it now so it's kind of coming through but that's all I've done I've never dyed the whole of my hair so that aids in my hair being healthy and my hair's quite thick as well um, but yeah to protect my hair if I am going to use heat which by the way I use heat on my hair about once or twice a month so not often at all and before when I was in secondary school so from when I was about 14 to 18 I straightened my hair every single day without fail unless I was ill or I wasn't leaving the house and that really really damaged my hair so that's I used to have really short hair then and it was I, it was quite damaged um, and seeing the difference without using heat is amazing so if you're trying to grow your hair I would recommend that you stop using heat and you only use it when you absolutely have to um, and there are some really nice hairstyles you can use without using heat and I have one how to get nice wavy hairs wait nice wavy hair without using heat so I'll put that in the down box below but if you are going to use heat then you I recommend that you use a hair protection spray and my favourite one is the Tresemme heat protector heat defence and it says that it protects to up to 230 degrees and this just looks like this um, it's a nice like, spray bottle and it smells really nice um, and it's quite affordable I think it's about £3 uh, I really really like this um, and you can get all kinds of different ones but when you're using a hairdryer or curlers or a straightener then definitely use this because it will help to protect your hair and also you can get like things like blow dry lotions this one's by VO5 and it says it's for amplifying volume but it also protects from heat so 
as well as volumizing your hair i've used this today but i've also like to use my hair but it's quite volumized but yeah so i've used this as well as back over my hair so this is just to add volume so if you don't just want to use this then you can get volumizing things and there's all different kinds of good stuff so there you go um i never use a hairbrush on my hair unless i have the world's biggest knot and my comb gets stuck in my hair like this it ain't cool right that's just done that because i back combed it by the way <laughs> not that it's that naughty but yeah i don't use a hairbrush i use a wide tooth comb which look like this and you can get these from anywhere you can get them from boots superdrug poundland and they're just really cheap and they're really good um the wide teeth really help like to separate the hair and get rid of any knots and it's just a whole lot better for your hair if you use a comb instead of a hairbrush so i recommend getting one of these and using this instead of a hairbrush and then another thing i love and is an absolute mu must for me is a hair oil and my favorite is the lee stafford argan oil from morocco and this is the nourishing miracle oil with pro argan complex a lightweight oil treatment for all hair types um um it's quite small for the price this moroccan oil is actually 11.99 which is quite expensive seeing as you only get 50 mils and it is a tiny bottle but this has lasted me a really long time like this has like lasted me a year and i've used up well you can't really see it's about here um when i have knots this is the miracle treatment i will pump two pumps in my hand rub it together and just run it through my hair and just by running my fingers through my hair like this it will get rid of all the knots that i have and my hair gets extremely knotty because i don't brush my hair when i have it wavy i'll leave it wavy for like three days and in that time i won't brush my hair so it gets really knotty which is kind of bad but this is the miracle oil <laughs> So this makes my hair really soft and smooth as well and it smells really good um, but this is expensive and there are alternatives and this is an alternative and this is the Avon Advanced Techniques 360 Nourishment Moroccan Argan Oil Leave-In Treatment for All Hair Types um, and I think this was about £5 so it's <laughs> a lot cheaper than the Lee Stafford one. Um, this is 30 mils, so it doesn't have quite as much. This one's a glass bottle as well, and I haven't used this before, but um, when this one runs out, I'll be using this one, and maybe I'll do a comparison or something. But yeah, so this is a cheaper alternative, and I know L'Oreal do a hair oil, and loads of different companies do them. So yeah obviously you don't have to if you get really greasy hair maybe i wouldn't recommend doing that but you don't put it in your roots you just put it on the ends so that's a definite help um and they're all the products that i use for my hair um you can get other hair treatments like hot oil treatments and things like that like if you really want to go all out there <laughs> but that's just what i do to keep my hair healthy and long like i'm really proud of the length of my hair but when i have it wavy it doesn't look as long as this um let me just show you show you the length from back here so hope you can see that like that's how long my hair is <laughs> um, so that's all the products and things that I use on my hair um, I hope this video was helpful to you if you're thinking about growing your hair or if you want to try out some new products or just make your hair more healthy um, because this really does work for me like my hair is so smooth and soft right now and I have hardly any split ends and I haven't had my hair cut in absolutely ages like well not ages in about three months so yeah these really help to keep my hair 
nice and healthy and shiny and glossy as you can see um, so yeah I hope this has helped you in some way and if you want to ask me anything about any of the products or about some hair tips or whatever <laughs> then just leave me a comment or you can inbox me um, I like talking to you guys so that will be nice and if you like this video then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you liked it and I will see you in my next video. Bye!